Hello, everyone. I am so excited to visit today with Dr. Paul Garner. Dr. Garner is a professor at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine and is an expert on infectious disease. Dr. Garner also had COVID and subsequently suffered for several months with long COVID, but had a wonderful and inspiring recovery, which you can read about in our recovery page on Positively COVID. Welcome, Dr. Garner. Thank you. I'm absolutely delighted to, to, to be with you today. And, and I love uh, your blogs and your web page. And it, it was uh, the energy and the positiveness uh, behind it is so important to us all in this journey uh, of recovery from uh, long COVID. So um, you do a great job in, in, in a way that I'm not, I've not been able to do. And so I, I, I don't have much uh, uh, more to add to, 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 to your approach other than to say, this has been a, over, this has been a two year journey. And um, when I was unwell in March, almost two years ago, you know, the, 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 the feelings, the illness, the twitching of the muscles, the, the rapid heart rate, uh, the terrible headaches, it was all real, you know, and that's what I wrote about. And it took time in those initial months to, to just to uh, get to grips with this. I really couldn't read. I really, I was really very disabled. But after a little while, this faded away and uh, fade away, but it was started to, it just, because it didn't go away, I am normally a very positive person. And that was severely stra strained by this illness. And I actually wondered whether I would ever recover. And that uncertainty fed, looking back on it, actually fed my illness and it fell, fed my symptoms. And, and, you know, they were real, the, the kickbacks and all of that was real it, it, and it was there. And it really wasn't until someone gave me hope that recovery was possible that things started changing. So one of the most critical things for people is to realize just about most of us get better, all right? And the second thing that helped me tremendously was um, an explanation of what was happening. And early on, the explanation that helped me recover was pretty basic around uh, the fact that the mind, the brain, and the body um, all operate together. And that the illness and the symptoms you experience can be the result of these, the uh, nervous system, try a very deep primal part of your nervous system protecting you from damage shutting you down and that this that's what the symptoms aim to do and that after a while they become self-fulfilling so that the 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 symptoms shut you down and then you feel the symptoms and that tells your brain that th you're you're ill and things that you're you're in danger and it feeds the perception of the symptoms. So this thing around false fatigue alarms, I found quite a helpful um, topic. And then the next thing that helped me was the support and help, and if you like, the love of others in 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 saying, look. You're going to get better. Just take it easy. Just look at things that are positive in your life. Stop ruminating on what's happening. Let go of the Facebook pages. Stop constantly scanning your body for, for, for symptoms. Use relaxation techniques. Don't beat yourself up if things go wrong, try and avoid stressful situations. Don't 
have rows with your family and try and try and have a you know have a nice time, find some jokes and watch stupid television. Don't watch catastrophic. Mean, I, I love independent movies. I was watching these catastrophic movies about how painful people's lives were. Just let them go and watch some other stuff for a while. Um, using visualization techniques to divert myself off when symptoms popped into my head or I felt a bit tired that these waves would come on me and I'd just find myself, take myself off to somewhere beautiful. And, and these approaches really helped and it gives you some control and realizing that you can influence your, your symptoms helps you dial down the volume, mm -hmm. you dial down the volume and those symptoms start receding and having confidence to exercise this fear that people have, the fear <clears throat> that we have fear in the pandemic, but then you have this fear that you will never recover um, is terribly, terribly destructive to people. Mm -hmm. Very important that most people get better that there's a biological explanation. This is not saying it's all in the mind. It's saying it is connected between how your mind and your <clears throat> brain, the, 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 the mechanisms it has for protecting you. It's, a, it's gone a bit crazy and you need to kind of help reset it. And the person that can reset it is you. It's not some drug or something or other else. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. You know, when I was close to being fully recovered is when I read about you and, and your story. And it was just the inspiration and the message that I needed that just put me over the top. And it was within a week that I felt a hundred percent. No, I felt 110%. So I thank you for that. And I know that your message is helping many and and continue to and i can't thank you enough for well i i mean it's the virus went weak i mean it went in the first month it's just that that it leaves this sort of devastation with some people um uh, in terms of these dysfunctional responses and i do think what you're doing which is promoting recovery stories is really really important and the personal side to this is, is extremely important as well because people can then relate to it because the, the recovery is also personal and people find different things that help them get better. And indeed, if people are having uh, problems with low blood pressure in their heart and so on, there may well be some drugs just that will help them in that process, you mm -hmm. know, it's just like when you have a headache, you take some brufen, right? Um, so it, it's all part of that process, but it's not saying that this is all in the imagination. That is a too simplistic mm -hmm. an interpretation and, uh, and taking a more nuanced and cleverer and more um, informed uh, approach that that you know this is related um, to how our body works um, and that will help you relieve your symptoms so thanks for all your good work and and I'm happy to talk with you or anybody else at any time personally or, or, or to continue getting the message out there because people do recover oh thank you thank you so much well as we know and as you just explained when we get into this heightened response system and our nervous system stays in this response system, that it's important to interrupt that pattern somehow, whether it's watching a funny video or going for a walk. Was there, is there one thing now or when you were recovering that was your go-to to help you kind of interrupt that pattern to get you back on track? Well, I think um, simply being a bit tolerant of yourself mm. and finding your own path mm. and not assuming that uh, 
you have you just sort of press a button and everything vanishes and that you know and that you have to run 20 kilometers or 10 kilometers or you know you've got to do this because that's the way you drive it out your body <laughs> it isn't like that at all no. you have to be kind to yourself but also persistent you do not let go of advancing your recovery you do not let go of what's in sight and you brush off any little sort of side steps that sometimes occur during it you might get a headache like you think you didn't before but you know I mean I was getting tired before to be honest with you you know I'd, I'd have a little nap in the office if I was feeling if I'd done a long day you know we're we're not all perfect we kind of get this impression that before uh, Covid we were out there 100% of the time doing everything at full blast and totally happy in our own <laughs> lives but it wasn't true you know? no. <laughs> we'd no. feel a bit tired and we'd get a headache for no particular reason so it's it's um it's important to hold on to the reality uh, and realize that you are you are normal and and that things are back to normal and and and, and, and you know it's so for some people it's a time to slightly alter their work-life balance oh, i'd be i was doing 55 hours a week it's crazy and 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 you have to change the situation that you're in uh, uh, as you move forward but it is it, it's just it, the message that you're getting out there is so important and, and you're seeing it all over the place at the moment in, in fact i i know a, a doctor who sees people with with similar kinds of conditions and he says um at the first consultation he he will say to them spend an hour with them say there's generally two kinds of people he says there are those that um understand that some of the symptoms that they you're having and so forth are are connected to how your brain is managing your body and your own perceptions it's not saying that they they don't exist and they're not there but there uh, there's a group of people that uh, understand that and will work with that in order to recover there is another group of people who believe this is entirely biomedical and that the reason uh, they remain symptomatic is doctors haven't found out what's wrong with them. And they believe that um, they need more tests to determine the biomedical cause of it. And he says to them, there are these two kinds of people and the first group get better and the second group don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's so profound. And so initially, right off the bat, if we can believe that we will recover and build a team of support that are on the same page that believe we will recover um, is the first the first step. Believe that we will recover and believe that we have the ability to overcome um, is 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 just. And that's what you are doing. You're building a community of people. You're expressing this. You're getting this message out to people. It's not going to be some person in a white coat that comes and tells you exactly what you what you what what tablet to take. Mm -hmm. It is you have the control and how you work with it. It's hard. It's harder for some that, uh, than others. Some have more, and some people have will have had damage to their tissues as a result of the dysfunctional immune system you know it's, it's quite clear that inflammation is up uh, in, in the in these conditions that people have inflammation of the tissues as a result it's that this is all part of it but that does not mean that it's going to be cured with a tablet or a discovery of a new some kind of new immunological marker that will tell whether people have got it and then there'll be a drug to sort it out. Ain't like that. No, no. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That's so insightful. So one, we have to believe that we can do this. We have to interrupt any patterning with as much positivity as we can. And like you said, that positivity doesn't just mean, oh, you smile and then everything is rosy, but that is an access to uh, a deeper compassion and kindness to ourselves to slow down and um, recognize that we do have the agency to overcome and to strengthen our resolve and our nervous system to 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 get better and be 
feeling wonderful. Maybe not every second because that's not reality, but much better. And I know that one thing that does help, and I'm wondering if you will join me in ending this call in laughing with me for just 20 seconds. That's all, <laughs> 20 seconds. And that way anyone that's watching and those of us, um, you and I here can um, end this call on a on a I've happy. never done this before. <laughs> well, I haven't done it with you before, but here, here we go. Are you are you with me? You with yeah, me? I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> okay. Um, Paul, thank you so much for, for joining us here at Positively COVID. And thank you so much for your message. And uh, on the count of three, then we will laugh for 20 seconds. And just give it a chat, whether it's a chuckle or a belly laugh or a giggle, it just just smile inside and out. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <a nice video. laughs> this is this is good. <laughs> Done. I gotta say, I think we went over 20 seconds, but that's oh, yeah. Well, I could have gone for a lot longer. Well, Thank you, you so going. much for making my day. Have a good oh, new year. You're welcome. Happy new year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.